Hello guys, welcome back. I'm your friend in XO. Today we will be trying to create a service with easy OCR and fast API. The easy OCR would be the main process of our program. The fast API would be the server program for our project. Before I get started, I shall create a repository. I will just call it easy OCR server. Add the readme file. Add the ignore file. Let's say it should be Python. And the lessons. Let's make an MIT lessons. Okay, create this repository. Now we got our repository. Let's clone it to our local storage. Now we have our repository in our local storage. What can we do now? Well, let me first create a server. Let's go to the fast API. And from here, it should have an example or something like that. Mm, let's install it first. This command should do it. After the installation, let's go back to his example. Let me create a main.py file. Paste that example inside of our file. We say from typing import option, from fast API import fast API, app equal to fast API, and app get its a string URL. The road for the road, it will return as a Johnson data structure. And for items with an ID, it will return that ID. And then we get something like this. Okay, now let's uh let's run this software. It says that we just have to use this command. Okay, uh, we oh we need to sudo apt install u v i c o r n. After that, we are ready to go. Uh, we get an error. It says that distribution not found. So just copy this line of error and paste it into the Google search engine. So we would get the solutions. So I probably first uh, apt remove the u v i c u r n, then uh, I'll use uh, pop three to install that uh, package. Here we go. After the installation, let's run this command again. It says that no such file direction or directory. Let's do it again. Still, we get an error. So. So fast API may not be the best uh, choice for us since we cannot even use it. Then let's go to Flask, the old one, and try to install his package with this. Okay. Now we can create the main function. Let's just copy a simple command, something like this. Then we run it by using Flask. Wrong. Could not locate a Flask application. You did not provide a Flask app environment variable. I feel bad about those frameworks. Let's just directly run the main API. No, it cannot be worked. Okay, if that's true, can we just say app that wrong can we just do that yes we can do that so forget about the flask wrong command it doesn't work for this for this case if we visit this website we would get a hello world string uh, what if we want to return some johnson file uh, if that's so we need to return Johnsonify by giving it a Johnson file, for example, A with one, B 
be with two. Okay, let's run this and refresh the page again. Now, as you can see, we got a Johnson file. The raw data is something like this. Cool. So this is a basic idea about the server program. Now let's go back to the EZOCR. And for this one, first we need to install it. After the installation, we should uh, we should be able to run this file. Okay, let's create a I don't know. Let's just uh, um, do it in the main process. Import EZOCR. The reader equal to EZOCR reader. Chinese language and the English language. And for this one, it's just with an image. Okay, then for this case, I'll just put the readers, uh, the process in in here. And I'm going to say this is a global variable. The reader is a global variable. And after that, we should try to find a way to get the Chinese.jpg uh, pass from the URL request. Okay, now let's look at an example. If we want to get the uh, URL parameter, we could use something like use something like this. But um, okay, let's do it with the simplest method. So now what we have to do is to change this to pass. This would be the pass. The hello function would receive a pass variable. And in the end, we will return the results as a Johnson file. Perfect. Now, if everything just OK and fine, we will need a, we will need an image that contains some text. So let's make one. For example, this simple line. And I passed that uh, imaging into current folder. This is what you could say. We got a text.png image file. Now let's run our server. It's running successfully. Then we copy, uh, we go to our browser. Uh, for the URL, I'm going to change it to text.png. That's right. Uh, we got an internal server error. Why? Uh, it says that object of type is not Johnson serializable. Uh, I guess I know where the problem comes, comes from. So instead of uh, return the Johnson file. Let's just uh, return some pure text. Okay, now it should be fine. Let's run this server again. Then go back to our browser and refresh this page. Here we go, we got the right to resort back. It, is that, it says that inside of this area, that image contains the text of InsectSo Pub OS with some other texts. Um, but I must say, it's not that accurate as we thought it would be. For example, here it should have an at symbol. And in here, the C and S should be both lowercase. It's quite funny since, you know, I just did a screen shot in theory the screenshot should be the the best inputs for an ocr system but uh, this repository still outputs a very bad result mm, so as i think uh, we shouldn't use this library in production i won't work where we will it won't work as you expected it would okay um that's today's tutorial. I will put the repository link under the video description. If you like it, go for it. If you like it very much, please subscribe my channel. Because without 1000 members subscription,
I cannot get anything from this uh, this terminal. In that case, I won't be able to live with it if I cannot get anything from this terminal. So um, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.